My name is Katherine Siefker. I'm the senior curator here at the Bullock Texas Day History Museum. I wanted to present this exhibit of dresses to showcase the rich traditions that are alive in Mexico. So this dress right here is from the state of Durango. Uh, Durango has a lot of revolutionary leaders and most famously probably are the female soldiers, the soldaderas. They would serve as cooks, nurses, some of them were actually soldiers in the Mexican Revolution. Over the years, it's become a classic um, party dress. They've added lace, they've added the tapada and the ruffles. They've also accessorized it with a pistol at the hip and then the bullets crisscrossing the torso. And those are all just elements that are supposed to speak to that fighting spirit of the original Adelita. This red and white dress is from the Mexican state of Nuevo Leon. It's in northern Mexico. In the 19th century, there was actually an influx into Mexico of German immigrants who were coming to serve as mining engineers. The ruffles are very reminiscent of that, that German culture, and then the dance that it would be used with has an accordion and a polka style. With the boots, you can kind of stomp out the rhythms of the polka. This dress is from Puebla, and you can see that it is a really heavy um, outfit. This is a really mountainous region. But despite the chill, the colors in the outfit with the flowers and all of the different animals that are represented is just so vibrant and lively. The motifs are even more uh, beautiful with the, the animals that are presented on the back side of the shawl. The indigenous uh, group that would create this piece, um, they believed that animals had spiritual qualities and that by weaving those animals into their textiles, they could kind of absorb a little bit of that power. These two wedding gowns, we have the indigenous tradition, which is this purple dress, and then we have the, the Spanish tradition, which is represented by the lace dress. With the indigenous piece from Oaxaca, the people and the scorpions and the geometric shapes and all of those shapes have meanings. And then you see this piece here, which while the shape of the dress is actually indigenous as well, but obviously the lace that's been brought in and added to it is um, showing the Spanish influence and how they blended together. In this exhibit, the blending of the indigenous techniques, the Spanish and European elements, and the results really show you something that is uniquely Mexican.